Let's look at the cells of the nervous system. So the cells that you encounter in the nervous system include call your neurons. These are the ones that signal, that create thoughts, memory, judgment, reasoning, and your glial cells. Okay, glial cells, what we you know we, we name and we call them your supporting cells, but they do it quite quite a lot. You can't live without them. Okay, so glial cells, neurons. Real cells you know, support. These cells far outnumber the neurons by about 50 to 1. 50 to 1 real cells to neurons. And neurons themselves are about, you may have about 1 trillion neurons in the nervous system. So imagine you get here to here, about 50 trillion real cells. So let's first look at real cells and then we will get into the neurons shortly. Yeah, shortly. So here we go, glial cells, there are six glial cells, six types, and four of them are found in the, nerve, in the central nervous system, two of them found in the, in the peripheral nervous system. So let's first begin with the glial cells in the CNS. And these cells include your astrocytes, one of the more numerous ones there, astrocytes, are involved in what's called the blood-brain barrier, they help to limit movement of materials from the blood into the brain and vice versa. So, so it's, it's, it's an extra layer of, 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 of tissue there caused by, by the astrocytes that effectively really reduce the exchange of, 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 material, of materials between both environments. It also is good for guiding neurons, young neurons to target. It's part of, part of the repair system of the brain. You know, when you when new ones die, they come in and fill in, fill in the space there. And they may also control the chemical environment. They can, they can soak up uh, extra material in the, in, in, in the area that may, may be harmful chemically. So they can control that as well. So, so that's your astrocytes. After astrocytes, one with astrocytes. Two, we have your ependymal cells. Ependymal cells are found in the cavities in the brain. Cavities such as lateral ventricle, third ventricle, fourth ventricle, these are all cavities that are lined by the ependymal cells. They're involved in also making CSF. So pendulum cells line the cavities and make CSF. Then you have your oligodendrocytes. Oligodendrocytes make a fatty material called myelin that covers the axons. And then fourth, you have your Microglia, these are immune cells. They fight off things like encephalitis, um, meningitis, for example, okay? Brain infections, these are the, the go-to gut, the go-to cells that, that, that get, get involved in trying to fight it off. So these, so these are the four types of glial cells you find in the CNS. Then in the PNS, you have two more, two more over there. So PNS glial, glial cells include your Schwann cells. These cells make myelin. So just like the, oligo, the oligodendrocytes, these are, are the counterparts. So, so they make myelin in PNS, meaning they, they wrap around the axons in your, your cranial nerves and spinal nerves, and then you have your satellite cells. These cells surround somas in, in, in ganglion or ganglia. So if you have, say, here's a cell, here's another cell, here's another cell, all of them are called ganglia. Then these cells will have these cells around them. These are your satellite cells. 
that surround the somas of your unipolar neurons in ganglia, satellite cells. More there for electrical inflation, you know, cover the somas there, okay. So, that's, so these are the six types of bill cells that you find in the nervous system. Now, while, we, while we're on the topic of oligos and Schwann cells, we can briefly look at myelin. So myelination, myelination, right, its job, its job is to cover the axons. So, so this is an axon, it's covered by these fatty wrappings, myelin. This process begins around the 14th week of gestation, okay, and ends in adolescence. So really it takes a while to get done. And it's really, it's, it's really, really at that time that your young adolescent offspring start to have more controlled behavior, emotional behavior, because now the neurons are properly working, circuitry is more fine-tuned and behavior can be, can be better controlled. Okay. Also some effects here, you have, um, Myelination can be affected. Your is the disease called multiple multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis MS is a disease where oligos die, right? As well as you destroy the myelin. So, so your oligodendrocytes stop working when MS is is is, flare, is say flaring up, for example and your myelin breaks down and it's, the, it's gonna lead to movement complications, movement um, interruptions, you know, slowness of movement, lack of coordination, even blindness of the comes, can, can, can result from this form of, 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 of disease. You have the Tay-Sachs disease, this one of Eastern European ancestry is more common in, 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 in that line of, of individuals and caused from a bad lipid. So the, the, a certain lipid that's not normally broken down in the, in, in the myelin membrane stays around longer than it should. So lipids accumulate, accumulate in the membrane and this is what can then over time disrupt signaling from proceeding down the axon. Okay. So two diseases that affect, affect, affect your myelin rolls on the axons. Okay, we'll pause there.